What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again. Uh, today, I just wanted to post a quick little video addressing some things on the channel, some things I saw in the comments yesterday. Uh, if you're not in tune with what's going on yesterday, I posted a race video. Um, I put up my uh, 2017 Challenger SRT392 up against another uh, Mustang. It was a 2017 Mustang GT Premium with the uh, performance pack and all that good stuff. Um, and it was a full bolt-on car in 85. Um, I went into that race expecting to take a fat L, um, but things actually worked out in my favor. The Challenger did really well and kind of held off the Mustang pretty good in most of the runs um, and kind of did its thing. So I posted the video up because that's what happened and um, even, I even said it, you know, at the beginning of the, the, the start of the video, I was like, yo, like I'm going into this expecting to lose, but I'm still going to do it. It's still good content. It still gives me a video to post for you guys. Um, and show you kind of the difference. I have both cars. I have a Mustang. I have a Challenger. I have nothing against Mustangs um, and, and I've raced a lot of them. You know, I've raced a lot of them. I raced my own car um, up against, you know, the Challengers, the, the Chargers, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, it's always an interesting learning experience because a lot of people think automatically assume like full bolt on um, this car is going to be fast as hell. And that's what I thought too. You know, yesterday was kind of a uh, a shocker to me as well because it gave me like a new perspective not to always back down from every race um, even if the other person might have more mods than you uh, there's a lot of other things that come into play so um, I think that was kind of the thing you know I think obviously the shifting was a little bit rough because he was having transmission issues so that played a part in it but there were some clean runs that we had and the, the challenger still kind of uh, fought for uh, the win and kind of got its, its groove moving forward so I, I really don't know what to say but um, on my end you know I, I try to do the best that I can so um, I try to make sure that my car you know dead hooks every time which it does you know the car uh, just hooks and goes and you know I've had no issues with the transmission or anything because I haven't touched anything um, I've left the car stock and the reason being as you guys know I put a Whipple on this car um, and this kind of became like the little build for the channel in terms of you know actually going fast fast and the Challenger has just been that NA car that I use as a daily driver and then I raced to make some content for my 392 followers, for the people that like the Mopars. Um, and Because I feel like there's not that many people out there that are making 392 content, um, especially in terms of racing and whatnot. So I try to kind of hold it down for, for the 392 people. Um, and at the same time, I try to provide some footage for the Mustang owners as well. Um, so some people say you play both sides, you know, you tease a little bit on this side and that side. And, you know, it's not me doing anything really. You know, I, I, I'm open to most of you know the races that I get called out for the runs that happen but I want to address something today and that is ever since the video went up yesterday I've been like getting flooded with DMs of people wanting to race and listen like my car is stock um, apart from a Hellcat airbox and like a, a mid muffle delete so it's uh, it's not really the funnest thing to go up to a car that is like fully built up bolt-ons whatever tuned all that good stuff um, because it's like you're going into an L, you know, it's like, am I really going to keep doing that? You know, I went into this video expecting an L and it worked out in my favor, but I don't think I'm going to always get lucky like that. Um, and I would like to race cars that are closer to where the SRT is at. So I usually like to find races where it's a competitive race, where I don't know the outcome of it, but the cars are close enough to where it makes sense and it's an enjoyable kind of suspense for both of us. So it's fun making the video, but it's also fun kind of figuring out the outcome in real life. So uh, if you start just racing cars that are constantly faster than you, there's no fun in that, especially for me. Like there's no fun to just go up to a car that I know is faster and better in every way than my car. So it's got to be realistic. So if you're hitting me up to race and you've got way more work done than me, um, you know, and if I don't answer back to you on that race, then you got to kind of be understandable because if you were in my shoes and I have, let's say like a boosted Mustang and I'm calling out, you know, your stock, you know, challenger, it doesn't really make sense to be doing that. Um, so I, I like to keep it fair. I like to have fun at the end of the day, obviously like the videos are going to do numbers either way. Um, you know, people are going to watch them and stuff like that. So that's really why I do them. Even though sometimes I know I'm going to lose, I just go because, I want to provide the content. I want to push out good videos and fun videos for you guys. I don't really care whether I win or lose because, you know, either way, it still gives me a video at the end of the day. And that's kind of what helps the channel grow and helps attract more people to the channel. But, you know, what happened yesterday in the video, I can't really explain it because it was a shocker to me as much as it was to you guys. But I also did mention something in the video and I said that maybe it's time to modify the 392. A lot of you guys caught on to that. You were talking about it in the comments. 
So I figured I'd clarify it a little bit today because I know I've been talking about getting a Hellcat and the more I discuss the idea of getting a Hellcat like with my friends and stuff like that, the more I realize like it's not the best thing to do. Reason being is if I can go and get a Hellcat right now, I'm going to have two cars that are very close in power. You know, the Mustang and the Hellcat, they're going to be very close in power. It'd be awesome. It's a baller thing to be able to daily drive a Hellcat. But realistically, from like the point of view of the channel and stuff like that, I don't think it's the best move. Um, reason being is if we get a Hellcat, then I'm going to be racing the exact same people all the time. And it's going to eliminate a whole, you know, different audience from the channel, which is the people that own the 392s, the people that are into the naturally aspirated thing. So that brings me to a tough point right now where I'm trying to make the decision. So uh, ideally, I was going to come back from Texas and pick up a Hellcat. Um, but then obviously like the COVID-19 and this epidemic started and all this stuff. So, um, you know, it's not smart to go ahead and get a new car right now because anyways, I can't really go out too much and film all the content that I want with it at the moment. Um, but you know, once things clear up a little bit, it, then it'll be kind of a good time to get a car and, uh, you know, switch things up. But here's what I'm thinking. And I know this is going to be like a little bit of a different, you know, move, but, I'm thinking we keep the Mustang supercharged. We do an NA build on the Challenger. So I'm going to do a cam, uh, long tubes, uh, you know, the port the throttle body, um, and obviously get it tuned, injectors, the 85, all that good stuff. So pretty much go full bolt on with the uh, 392 because I feel like there's not too many people with the 392 that are doing content like that, but there's a ton of 392 owners that are um, you know looking for that type of content looking to see what their cars can do so i'd love to lead the wave with that um, reach out to some companies work with some people that know 392 is very well and see what we can make out of side view at the end of the day the srt is what started everything this is a car that i first got on the channel and it took me this far um, so i never lost love for the car i just didn't modify it because i you know didn't see the potential in it but time and time again it's proved itself it's put in work you know against cars that i thought were for sure destroy it or not even give it a chance at all but you know she's done her thing and i'm very happy with that car you know it's approaching 28,000 miles or 29,000 miles now of like you know good driving and obviously a lot of abuse has gone into the driving that i do with it but she hasn't you know missed a skipped a beat at this point so i feel like it's time to just reward her a little bit do an na build with it um and in doing that though, I do need a new daily. So that's the part where I don't think I'm gonna get a Hellcat if I have a 392 and I have the Mustang. So the new daily would have to be something else. And this is a part where you guys come in, let me know what should we add to the channel? Should we add a Chevy to the channel? Should I go get a, uh, you know, like a, a Chevy of some sort? You know, whether it be a truck, whether it be an SUV, a uh, Camaro, a Corvette, you guys let me know. So at the end of the day, whatever you know i see the most votes for whatever makes sense um you know for the channel uh I'll, I'll add a third car so we'll have the supercharged mustang naturally aspirated challenger and then we'll have the new daily um and we'll see where that goes so that's kind of the thought process i'm going through right now i think that is going to give us the best coverage in terms of you know being able to brace people that are fast and have you know supercharged cars being able to race people that are naturally aspirated and you know under the 500 wheel mark which is perfect because there's a ton of cars you know whether it be uh euro uh, jdm muscle that falls into that category and uh it just keeps it entertaining you know at the end of the day um at, all i try to do with these videos is entertain you and keep you guys you know um entertained with car content so uh, the better i can do that i'm gonna go ahead and shoot for that type of stuff um and yeah i mean i hope nobody takes this message the wrong way or anything like that this video but i want to just clarify some things up um, I've been very transparent with you guys with my numbers and stuff like that. I've been very open um, and for that reason because I, I don't race for money or anything. You know, any run I do with anybody on the channel is always just for fun. Win or lose, I try to make friendships. I try to be super chill with the people that I race um, and just kind of do my thing. So uh, yeah, I just kind of want to throw that out there because there have been people in my DMs like asking for a money run. I can't do that, guys. All my numbers are out there. My dyno sheets are out there. You guys know what's done in my cars. It would be kind of reckless to just give away money like that. So, whew, that was a lot to get, to get out there, but it had to be said. I had to address it. Um, new video coming tomorrow. We got a new exhaust for the Mustang. Super excited to show you guys all that uh, in tomorrow's video. 
But uh, yeah, I totally appreciate you guys stopping by um, and showing love. We hit 166,000, I think, yesterday, and we're almost at 166,500 today. So we're getting like 500 subscribers overnight. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Totally appreciate you guys. Um, the COVID-19 hasn't made it easy to make content, but I'm grinding, trying to do my best here and uh, keep you guys entertained. So um, that'll be it for today's video. Please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Rush Shift if you haven't, uh, so that I can get some uh, more engagement and stuff like that from brands that I'm trying to work with. It really helps me out. So if you're trying to help a brother out, go ahead and uh, follow me on Instagram. But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe as well. Drop a like. It's your boy Rush. Catch you in the next video. Peace.